Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're in the stick room. I know most people, this is actually down in the goalie level. We do let forwards in here. Most people think of this as a forward. We, we, we let, I let forwards in here. You just happen to come by and make a mess. They let forwards in here, That's but it's bad. also good for goalies too, especially when you're trying to choose a stick. We talked about it last week, paddle length, getting it set for your stance. When you're in your butterfly, this week we wanted to talk curve. Correct. There are a lot of different options, but really there's a couple of standard staples. Cam, I'm going to turn it over to you. The first one we're going to talk about is the Bauer P31. Now listen, folks, at the end of this, we're going to do what we did with the CCM gloves, the 580, 590, 600. We're going to take the staple sticks and curves after we've explained them, and we're gonna run you through the equivalents and what they're called in all the brands. But first, let's start with the P31. And Cam, you tell me, why are we starting with the P31? So it has to be probably the most common curve out there right now and the most common used curve. Um, I have a P31 in my hands, so does Kevin. Um, this is what we would really go for is like your standard mid twist curve. What's really happening here, a lot of hook in the uh, curve itself. And we can see this obviously with some little bit of B-roll footage when you check it out. For those that are listening on the podcast, that P31, imagine you're picking it up off the wall. It's identical to your CCM Crawford. Um, open this in the toe, really good for those lower kind of hard passes per se. Not looking necessarily clear it over top of the boards. I know some guys can with this curve, I myself included if I really need to. Um, a lot of control with it. Down low though is where I find it's, it works its best. So great for that good, hard 10 foot pass. You're putting on that defenseman stick as they're going to clear that zone. Okay, so P31, like again, at the end of this video and at the end of the segment, we're gonna give you the equivalents for the other brands. He already mentioned it's the Crawford version, although they've got a new name for that in CCM. That'll all be at the end of the video. You talked about the curve and passing the puck. What about the lie and how it sits in terms of when you're in your butterfly or when you're in this dance compared to maybe some other models? So as a visual aspect, I almost like to draw a center line from the goalie's body right down to the midpoint of the stick. Mid curve, midpoint of the body. All your movements kind of are centered out of the control of that stick right from that basically center point of it. So I find anytime you're moving side to side, everything like that, your stick moves, rest of your body moves. You're staying, staying square in that aspect point. So I really find when they do say, you know, mid curve, we're talking mid body right down, straight down to the middle. In terms of for the lie of the stick, now most of the uh, goal sticks nowadays are basically based off of 14 lie. Before in years past, we used to see a lot of conversations about different lies and how they sit. Now it's kind of become more of a standard. There are some options that are available custom. And if we want to talk custom, you can always give me a call. We'll talk about that part later. However, for the most part, almost all the sticks that we were talking about today all have a 14 line. And, 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 a, and a 14 line in terms of how it sits, what should you be looking for compared to, like how, what is this, how does this curve sit compared to something else? So if we look now, we can switch this stick out for now. Let's switch it out for a price curve or a P1 in CCM's nomenclature. So price curve, heel-based curve, straighter curve as well. You notice that again, if you take a look at the B-roll footage, for those that are listening, check it out for sure. Much straighter blade. We're seeing this come back quite a bit. It went away a little bit, it's come back, went away a little bit, came back. Part of what we're seeing now for goaltending wise is that because it's a straighter curve, it sits flusher on the ice. So I'm covering more surface area within the goalie's five hole. Um, again, the argument of that, more surface area on the ice, a bit of a more of a resting point per se, as you're holding the stick, you can kind of feel the entire blade on the ice, which can give the goalies a lot of control and feel based off their stance and in their movements. Um, for me, when I'm using this stick in terms of playing it, I find I got to play a little bit more of the puck off the toe of the stick. You can get a good loft with this stick, a bit more of that kind of like rainbow dump shot that we kind of think, especially for clearing it with the defenseman coming in and trying to get it up onto the boards to ride the glass. I find this a little bit easier to do it with this style of a curve. Okay, so this is the price curve in CCM. That's correct. Bow, again, we'll give you the equivalent in all the other brands so that we can sort of build out a little chart for you at the end of this video so that you'll be able to go into your store or preferably CCAM at the hockey shop and sort of match 
what you like out of this video to various different brands. I did want to quickly grab those Bowers again though, Cam, one more question, um, because I did notice some difference. They both may both be P31 curves, but obviously two things I noticed, you've got the Hyperlite stick, I've got the 3S Pro. Hyperlite, we talked about it in the review, shorter shaft for puck handling, it's a much shorter stick, but the other difference, the toe. The P31 on the 3S Pro here, square toe, you've got a rounded toe on the Hyperlite, what's the difference there? Correct, so this all came about, once again, is the ability to feel the ease of puck, getting it off of the boards, especially when you're trying to get you know, your stick in there and pull it off, especially if the boards, they usually have a little bit of a divot point there, the puck tends to kind of get stuck. Through feedback, the least have found that having that rounded toe allows you to kind of scoop it off the boards a little bit easier. Myself, for my own preference, I actually prefer the square toe more in this aspect because I can find I can wedge it straight against the boards and then there's no gap. However, this is goalie goalie dependent and there's obviously a reason the rounded toes come about and that's what the feedback was based off of. So in addition to being able to order rounded toes or square toes on some of the different customizers, and again, always talk to Cam at the hockey shop if you've got custom orders, we are seeing it as a stock option on the Hyperlite and we just saw it on the price curve as well. You know, many of you may have noted that's a rounded toe. Interestingly enough, when we had Kerry, I think it was the last time we saw him up in Kelowna uh, for one of our day with price camps with Eli Wilson, he had switched back to a square toe. All right, so that's the different, those are the two basic curves. We got a couple of unique ones or at least one unique one we wanna show you. That is the Jonathan Quick curve on the Warrior model. Tell us how this one matches up compared to the other two. Let's start with the curve itself. So very straight as well. So not as heel based. You still get a bit of hook in the mid portion of the stick so itself. So straighter, but more of a like less curved, but mid curved as opposed to the price is straighter, but it starts at the heel. This is probably one of the straightest blades that we carry and exists out on the market today. Right now. Um, in terms of overall feel wise and stuff like this, um, in my opinion, it's a bit of an older style of a curve. Um, I actually would say in terms of shooting with curves, I struggle with this one the most. Still sits very flat on the ice in terms of a surface area coverage standpoint. So if, again, that's what you're looking for, that's what the curve can provide for sure. Um, again, it, it really kind of depends a little bit on your preference and whatnot. I'd imagine if you're tossing backhands, the straighter curve is a little easier too. Correct, because you can grab it from that kind of mid portion, again, upper portion of that toe and be able to kind of flop it up. Um, Older Shearwood fans, things like that, they should kind of gravitate to this curve as being still similar without having the huge banana hooks. You know, P31s that you know, I'm used to and I grew up with, so. So this is one that is unique to Warrior in the quick model. Are there other equivalents in other brands? Again, I know we're gonna do the list at the end, but this is somewhat of a unique stick. Somewhat of the unique of the ones that we carry, yes, correct. Okay, and as we mentioned, the V1 stock that he has a ton of right now, Jonathan Quick curves are the predominant curve there and they're all on sale 30% off. So Cam, now that we've talked about the different curves, and again, folks, stick around, especially on the video side. We'll give you a list of how those curves match up in every brand. We're gonna let the podcast side go and encourage them to come watch the video because Cam's gonna give us a demonstration of how this puck sort of comes off and what part of the stick you would actually be handling the, the puck with based on the curve. Some you want them more in the middle, some you're playing it more off the toe. That demonstration will be video only. So make sure if you're listening on the podcast right now, you check out the video at the bottom of the page at ingolmag.com or on all our social media channels. And of course, if you have questions, you can always call Cam at the hockey shop. 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Because remember, as much as we're showing you the basic stock options, custom available, get your name on it, the works, minimums depend on the brand. Cam can answer all those questions for you in person. Make sure you check it out. All right, it's shooting time. I apologize for uh, the tape job. Cam is not the Tim Stutzley of uh, shooting rooms with bad tape jobs among goaltenders, but you gotta make sure you got a layer of tape on these beautiful sticks before you fire them in the shooting room or you're gonna wreck them. So Cam, we talked about sort of demonstrating how the puck sits and where you shoot off different points of the blade, depending on your curve. Walk us through, we're gonna start, we've got the, the Warrior M1 Pro, but this is the P31 curve, their equivalent. This is the most common one, the Bowers P31 curve. Walk me through the shooting mechanics and how the puck comes off this one, and then let's sort of show me as you stick handle and then fire a few away. So when starting, with in terms of puck positioning on the stick, I like to start at the lower three quarters. 
When I go to go shoot with it, I like to close the blade a little bit more. And as I'm coming through, I'm rolling that stick and I'm getting that flip. And that's my last little lock with the puck. So that's where that toe comes in with its openness and that twist forward. And that's what really helps to kind of launch that puck forward for me. So as I'm going through, we can now kind of show it as full motion now, starting at the middle, roll through, push. Close the blade. Through, shot. Okay, we're on to the price curve now. This is sort of the heel curve in the CCM. We're using the Warrior to demonstrate it again. At the end of this video, we'll show you all the equivalents. Cam, where are you positioning the puck? How does the puck come off of this stick compared to the P31? I find that I have to shoot this one a little bit for, uh, closer to the toe to kind of get uh, the, the playability that I want out of it. Again, I find this best for as a defenseman's coming in, you're looking to kind of loft it up and get it to ride the boards where I find this stick kind of excels at. So I'm going to start again closer to kind of the toe of the stick. We're shooting kind of off of that uh, upper toe portion and helping to shovel that puck forward. As I lift it up, I'm really going to tilt that stick up and that should give me that loft that I'm looking for. Okay, and last but certainly not least, the unique one, the one that is actually unique to Warrior, the Jonathan Quick model. Again, a much flatter curve, straighter curve, uh, midpoint sort of where it curves, but just not nearly as much as a P31. Uh, I do start about midpoint on this stick. You could go a little bit closer to the, ter uh, the toe uh, and treat it a bit more like the, uh, the wedge, um, steel base, price curve kind of things like that. Um, for me, as I'm coming through with it, once again, I'm starting right at about that midpoint. I'm going to peel it back quite a bit rather than close the stick off so I can try to get a little bit more loft to it. Um, but yeah, this one's a bit more of, you know, find your happy medium with it for sure. Again, looking for that midpoint of that stick and peeling through it and up. Okay, we walk you through the basic stick curve models. Cam's shown you, we've shown you the lie, how they sit. We've shown you how they sort of pucks come off and how you shoot with them. Now it's time to give you sort of our chart, the comparison. If you fell in love with the P31 after watching Cam rocket it off the bottom bar, barely get it off the ice or whatever that was he was doing. If you like the P31, but you're not a Bauer guy, we have options for you. The equivalence to the P31 in, let's start with, True Catalyst 9X stick. What is their P31 equivalent called CAM? MC2, so Catalyst moving forward for their new sticks that are also launching here pretty quickly too, stay tuned. MC2, Warrior, it's their twist curve, now called the W33, um, but we'll still have the TWT negating the twist. Um, Bauer P31, once again the same. And also the P4 in CCM, formerly known as the Crawford curve. All exact same curve, exact same shape. You're going to get that same puck, puck playability off of each one. Same lie, same everything available. As we said, there's a reason we started with P31 from Bauer. This is sort of your most standardized stick, your most common stick. And of course, the curves are available in all the options. Next in our comparison shopping chart is the CCM the price model, and as you said, they no longer call it the price model or they're moving away from that nomenclature. It's now gonna be the CCMP1. This is sort of your heel curve stick that we talked about before. What is the equivalent called in Warrior and True? And we don't have one, but there is an equivalent of Bauer. We just don't have it in stock. It would be a custom order. In Bauer, it's the P34. That's correct. I got it, P34. What are we looking at in Warrior to equivalent of the price P1? So in Warrior, it's now called the W34 or Wedge Curve, formerly known as Mirazic. That will line up with your, your price curve, your P1. Um, and also True, Again, exact same curve as well. We call that the PC2. Um, moving forward in all of their newer models that are coming out, that's the one that you want to look for. All right, so those are our two basics. We've already talked about the Jonathan Quick model, but that's more of a one-off unique to Warrior. Remember folks, you can get all of these customized. We talked about the rounded toe, the square toe, 
the different curves, different paddle lengths, get your name on it. All of these companies have custom options available. Best thing I can suggest if that's what you're looking for, as much as I hate to blow up the eagle, call this guy, call Cam at the hockey shop, the hockey shop source for sports. One more time with that number, Cam. Quick note before you get to the number. Quick note, quick note. Uh, True Sticks have changed their curve nomenclature um, as recently as of last season, basically. So some of the old patterns and some of the old charts that you see on websites and whatnot are no longer the standard. Um, they used to have a TC curve, which used to be the twist curve. That's no longer the case. As we talked about, it's the MC2 now. Um, just keep that in mind. If you have any questions about it, you can give me a call, 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790.